If you need to set up custom numbering schemes for your documents, you're watching the right video. Let's say we need client contracts to be numbered based on our own numbering scheme. Hover your mouse over the main section. Click on the settings icon and choose numbering. Activate it. Give the registry a name like client contract registry, for example. Now you can set up the numbering scheme. The simplest numbering scheme would consist of just a sequential number. Click on the plus icon and choose Number. You can now see in the preview that the next document added to this folder will be numbered as 1. That is probably too simple though. Let's write something static in front of the number. Maybe we need some time-based dynamic elements to be part of the number. Let's add year. I'm going to use a dash to separate it from the month. We can also use custom metadata fields your organization has created to dynamically populate the values of the fields into the numbering. We will see how this works a bit later. If the folder you set this up in also has a number, you can use it as part of the numbering scheme if you need to. You can choose if only files get numbered or if folders and even external links do as well. If you need the numbering to reset periodically, like once a year, you can choose that too. This numbering automation can be applied to only the folder you set it up for, or also its subfolders. If the subfolders are considered as documents composed of different files, and you want them to inherit the number of the parent folder, you can enable this function here. Click Save when you're done. Now, anytime a new file is added to this folder, it gets numbered. You can see this when you click on a file. It is part of the metadata. You may also want to show the number in the folder list view. For that, click on columns and choose to display number as one of the columns. Now you can see the document numbers right in the list view. Let's now update the numbering scheme to include a custom metadata field. The number will only be assigned after a user fills in the required metadata. Once completed, the document will receive its number. But wait! There's more! Administrators can see all document registries. Click on Numbering under Admin Tools. This lists all your registries. Click on one to see all documents included in it. You can easily download a full report of the registry to Excel, CSV, or as a PDF file. Finally, you can, of course, search by document number two. That's it. Document numbering schemes are flexible and easy to use in the Folderit document management system.